guys, it's Elise. Welcome to my channel if you are new. And if you are not new, then of course, welcome back for another video. For today's video, as you guys can already tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this lavender purple makeup that will be perfect for spring and summer and honesty for any occasion that you just want to wear a little bit of perp. You know what I mean? So I absolutely love this look. I hope you guys do too. And if you want to see how to get this makeup look, which by the way is very easy to accomplish, then of course, please keep watching. I'm using my handy dandy Aquaphor Lip Repair Chapstick. Ooh, it's farting. You hear? Do you hear that? Rather disgusting, actually. Just prime my eyelids with some concealer. I'll be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and mine is in the shade Cashew 365. I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid so I can use it as primer. I always use concealer as primer to me. I just feel like using primers are redundant when to me concealers do the same thing. They even out the complexion on my eyelid. They give me a nice even canvas to work with. Eyeshadow stick just fine. So honestly, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Blend that out. And I did do my eyebrows off camera already because ain't nobody got time to see me do that. That takes me about seven hours. If you guys do want a updated brow tutorial, then please let me know so that I can do one. Because it has been at least like two to three years since the last one that I did. Honestly, sometimes I just wish that YouTube would just let you play music because... I would normally make this a voiceover because I love playing music as I do my makeup. But obviously because this is a talk through, I can't play any music. And I'm just like, oh, I wish I could play music. Why can't we play music? YouTube, answer that question. Why can't we play music? I understand that it's copyright, but ain't nobody trying to claim these songs. I ain't trying to sit here and say that I own the rights to a Beyonce song. Like, I clearly don't. Do you see me out here with Beyonce money? Clearly not. Now I'm just going to take the hootie booty. <laughs> hootie booty, girl. You better get your life, honey. This is the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Easy Bake Loose Face Powder. I'm going to take this to just set my concealer in place because that way the eyeshadow powders will blend very effortlessly and they won't be um, patchy or blotchy or anything like that. The palette, I wanted to use the Pure Cosmetics Festival palette. We got this in BoxyCharm last month and I never got around to actually using it on camera. I did dabble into it a few times off camera, but I was like, oh my god, how selfish am I? Like, I didn't even use it for my friends. So, of course, I want to do a quick little look with it today. So, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, which is called Epic, and this is going to be my transition shade. I absolutely love using the products that I get in BoxyCharm on videos because I know that a lot of us have BoxyCharm and it just makes it so much easier because instead of me sitting here and showing you guys a ton of products that you may not have, knowing that so many people, like myself, have BoxyCharm, it just makes it that much easier so that you can get up and create a makeup look with your BoxyCharm products. However, it kind of stinks because whenever I did do BoxyCharm unboxing videos, they didn't really do that well on my channel. So I stopped doing them because I didn't think it was something you guys wanted to see. Anyways, so I'm going to be taking the shade Epic like I mentioned and that's going to be my transition shade. It's just a really nice kind of like muted orange. I'm going to be working with purples today. I like using shades like this as a transition because orange is the complementary shade for purples and lavenders so like whenever I use kind of like orangey type of shades with purples it really just makes a purple pop out even more what is all this fuzzy stuff in my hair like hello you are disrespecting me right now having the shade gypsy from the palette which is this beautiful super pigmented purple shade it does have some shimmers in it but i'm still going to be using this kind of like as a crease color i'm just going to apply this on my crease Alright, I kind of want to smack myself because I wasn't recording, so I'm going to show you guys what I did on the other eye really quickly. So I'm taking the BH Cosmetics 28 color foiled eyeshadow palette and I'm taking a mix of shade right here and a little bit of this one and mixing it together, these really pretty lavender shades. And with a regular flat brush like this one, I'm going to be applying a little bit of Mixing Medium Fix Plus Water, whatever you have to this, because that will just make the eyeshadow even more intense, even more foiled. And I'm just going to take that lavender shade and I'm going to apply it right onto the center of my lid since I did leave that pretty bare. This just creates more dimension so that it's not just a flat purple feels like there's a lot more going on on your eyes but at the same time it's still very easy to do and overall I just really like it because I just feel like it adds a little bit more dimension to the eyeshadow so it's not all one shade of purple 
For lashes, I'll be taking these by a brand that I actually found on Instagram. These are really beautiful lashes, and I absolutely love the way that they came packaged. They even sent me a nice little note. Oh my god, it's the little things, you guys. It's the little things that matter. I absolutely love these lashes. I'm sure they're going to be so beautiful once they're applied. These are in the style Chismosa, and these are by the brand ESG Cosmetics. I will definitely be linking these down below so you guys can go check out the brand if you want these lashes, which these are beautiful. All right, so now that the lashes are on, what I'm going to do is just move on to foundation. So moving on to face makeup, I'll be using the no, the no Pore, I can never see this, No Pore Blem Primer by Touch and Soul, the Smooth and Pore Covering um, Perfect Makeup Primer. I love this primer. I do feel like it does a great job at filling in the pores, and it's not greasy, which I love. I'll be taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Mine is in the shade F10.5. I know this looks like it's not my shade, but I promise once I blend it out, we will make her work, okay? Oh, you guys, have you guys met Mars? Right here. Mars is right here. Mars would like to introduce himself formally to everybody. Hello, world. I'm here to disturb and interrupt Elisa's life and take up half of her face without paying rent. That is Mars. All right, so now I'm just going to blend this out. I'm taking a beauty sponge today because this is a little dark so I don't want it to be super full coverage because it's gonna look a little bit crazy. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer once again but this time I'm gonna use it to actually conceal and highlight my under eye area. I love this concealer by the way. If you are looking for a good one from the drugstore, you gotta hit up the L'Oreal section and you also gotta hit up the e.l.f. section. That e.l.f. camo concealer that I was talking about in my favorites video, you guys, that stuff is good and it's even cheaper than this one. I mean, do you guys see how full coverage that is? You guys, L'Oreal. L'Oreal did that. I'll be taking the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Maple. And I do like using this just to kind of like as a cream bronzer. I'm only going to use a little bit since I do feel like the foundation is a little bit dark for me. I don't want to go too overboard on the bronzer. Let's put a couple of dots on my face. I look like a freaking weirdo right now. I'm going to blend this out. So now to set all of this, what I'll be doing is taking the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder once more, but this time I'm just going to be putting it on my under eye area, my chin area, you know, all the areas of my face that tend to get really oily. Taking a little bit of that purple eyeshadow from the Pure Cosmetics palette and this time I'm just going to apply it on a liner brush and then I'm just going to run that on my lower lash line. It's because I want this purple to be like all over the eye. I don't just want it to be on the top. Going straight into highlighter, I'll be taking the Wet n Wild Highlighting Gold Bar in the shade Holly Goldhead. What she looks like right here, it's a super pigmented highlighter, so do not sleep on Wet n Wild. Sis. I don't know if they still sell this. It might be limited edition, but honestly, Wet n Wild has really, really good highlighters year-round. A little bit of this on my brush. Do you guys see how pigmented that is? I mean, hello. And last but not least for the lips, I'm going to do my favorite lip combo, the one that I talked about in my last favorites video. I'm going to be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. And then over top of that, I'll be using the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in the shade 944B Send Nudes. I have been loving this. I just think it is the perfect neutral nude you know what i mean it's a perfect nude that doesn't wash out my lips you know when some nudes make you look like you have a really bad case of crackhead lips like they just look all white not a good look okay so i love that this is the perfect nude it really does make my lips look completely nude without looking too orange too grayish it's a perfect shade i swear i could leave it like this but i do want a little bit more shine so then over top of that like i said i'm going to use this wet and wild lip gloss Alright, so that is pretty much it for this makeup. I'm going to go ahead and seal this. Okay, so I went ahead and I did my hair real quick. Did a little bit of one of these. You know, slipped it down a little bit. Looking a little bit less crazy now. So I just wanted to say thank you guys all so much for watching this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did and if you've made it to the end of this video, not only are you a real one, but you just really need to subscribe if you haven't. Honestly, you're already about, what, 10 minutes into me? Honestly...
just make it official just solidify it and hit the subscribe button one time for the one time and also if you are a super extra real 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 one like like you like you like borderline family at this point go ahead and hit the little bell next to subscribe and that way you'll be notified every single time that I upload because YouTube be playing us nowadays it doesn't let people know when people are uploading content so of course you just don't want to miss out okay just just don't be one of those people that misses out on the content okay so yeah you guys that is it for this video thank you all so much for watching I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye